welcome to the Equity Team Podcast, Episode 3. Uh, today, we are blessed with the presence of Allegra, a top performing agent on our team. And uh, just wanted to spend a little bit of time face to face with you, introduce you to our audience, get to know you a little bit better, understand what's your background, where you're coming from, and then what kind of deals are we working on with our clients right now. Mm -hmm. So Allegra, welcome. Thank you. And uh, would you care to introduce yourself a little bit, where you come from, uh, what's what's your background, how did you get into real estate and, yeah. uh, and all of that? So I'm originally from New York, but I grew up in Sedona, so mm. this is my home. And I'm blessed to say so because it's a beautiful place. Uh, never, it never gets old. The mountains are amazing. Mm. I come from a background of investors and builders uh, from high rises in New York City to uh, projects in Sedona. Mm. Uh, my you know, family has been working in this industry for many years. And I also went to school for interior design. So I kind of followed in their footsteps and continued nice. the path of real estate and uh, design and construction. Nice. And uh, I really have enjoyed working in the Sedona area because I've seen so much growth here and it's an amazing place to invest, but as well as to live. And there mm -hmm. are so many areas in the area uh, outside of Sedona even that are so beautiful and amazing to explore. Yeah, yeah. So while we're on the subject, uh, what kind of areas do we have outside of Sedona? Because when, when people think about Northern Arizona, immediately they will think about the Grand Canyon and they will think about Sedona, but like we have an entire valley here, which is called the Verde Valley. Mm -hmm. And that encompasses a lot more towns than just Sedona. So um, can you give us a little bit of the rundown as to what we can find down there? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, going into the Verde Valley, we have Cornville. You have beautiful wineries out there, the creek that runs through it. I highly recommend visiting and going through there. You also nice. have horse property. So it's a really beautiful space uh, to be out in nature as well as to explore. Um, I have a client that moved down there. He absolutely loves it. Came from Hawaii and he has swimming holes and all these secret paths that you would never expect to find. So it's a really uh, beautiful spot down there. And then if you go a little bit further, about 20 minutes from Sedona, you have Cottonwood. That's the biggest city from us. You have restaurants. Uh, the downtown uh, Old Town Cottonwood is fantastic. It's really hustling and bustling. You have uh, mm. lots of activity there. You have shopping centers, community centers. So the, it's a bigger uh, city. Yeah. So you have a lot of opportunity there and it's a very strong market. Yeah. Yeah, Cottonwood, I believe, has about 30,000 residents versus 10,000 for Sedona. So it's like mm -hmm. three times the size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we definitely have a lot of stores in Cottonwood. And it makes, it makes working there really easy because everything is so accessible really easily. I know um, I personally have a lot of investments in mm -hmm. Cottonwood and I can just drive five minutes to the, to the city to ask for a permit and then another city to meet with my contractor and then another five minutes to go to Home Depot and uh, so I can just do that everything in one day. Yeah. And it's great. And uh, so like as, as a realtor, um, your clients that are looking to move to the area, right? The first time home buyers, for example, or people that are relocating, um, what kind of uh, budget do should they expect to spend to get uh, a home here? And what are the pros and cons in terms of pricing versus um, uh, Sedona and Cottonwood, Cornville, for example? What are the kind of differences that we can see? Yeah, I think Sedona, if you want to be in West Sedona, Sedona proper, it would be minimum around 500,000 to 700,000. Um, 500,000, you know, four or 500,000 range will get you a nice manufactured home. Um, but if you want a condo, maybe around the five to 700,000 range. If you're in the village of Oak Creek, which is about 10 minutes from here, you can expect a bit lower pricing. Mm. You have a fantastic view from there, all the hiking trails, biking trails, um, and a lot of amenities out there. But uh, as well as all of the golf courses are out there. Yeah. Um, but the prices are a little bit lower and it's a little bit more uh, community oriented because you have some HOAs that control the area and try to um, maintain that mm. community feel. Yeah. Um, so you can see prices from, you know, 700,000 to about a million, I would say. Whereas in Sedona, the average home price is a bit higher. It's more around the 1.1 million mark. So you're going to see more single family homes homes uh, from the 700 to 1.2 million, 1.3 yeah. million uh, yeah. mark, I would say. But you get something really nice at that price. You do. You get really nice homes. Um, yeah. And Sedona, because of the 
limited supply here and high demand, uh, there aren't you know new houses all the time being built. It's yeah. really people come in looking for that gem, and there is a lot of competition, um, and the market is continues to be strong. Yeah. Yeah, and although we've seen a little decline earlier this year when the interest rates started coming up, we're now you know five months inside of that recession that everybody talks about, but we haven't seen really much more decline in prices. And actually, I I don't know if it's been the same with you with your clients, mm-hmm. but I've experienced multiple offers on properties now, and actually yes. prices um, properties going under contract for more than the asking price. Is that something that you've experienced too? Yeah, I have seen competition on homes. Um, and I will say what's good for buyers right now is it is more of a buyer's market. So yeah. they have uh, more of an advantage and ability to negotiate um, as far as price and what they're getting for their money. Because before it was such a strong seller's market mm. and we would see 20 offers on a property. Yeah. Now we're still seeing competition, but it's a bit less. So you have more leverage as mm-hmm. far as uh, being a buyer in this market. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That, that's that's when you really get to shine as a realtor with no, your negotiation skills and, and talking with a listing agent and really diving deep into, you know, what the property is like and what it has to offer, what are the comparables yeah. and, and really trying to get the best deal for your clients. Yeah. And that's so awesome. So we covered a little bit about the entry level prices, single family homes in Sedona. Uh, what would that look like in Cottonwood, for example? So for Cottonwood, I would say if you wanted to get a single family residence, you know, three bedroom, two bathroom, you're looking more around the three to 400 range. Nice. Um, you know, with 500, you're going to get started getting into really nice homes with quality finishes, um, more upgraded. If you go into something around the $700,000 range, um, you're seeing fantastic homes with amazing views of Sedona. Um, as well as land, Mm. which is great. So if you are interested in a horse property or just want extra space, there's a lot of that available. Um, And so I think people are seeing opportunity with being in a little bit larger town. You are really close to Sedona, so it's not like you're so far away. Um, And having these spectacular homes out there. And they are being built now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have a couple builders in the area that just bought up huge plots of land and then Every year, they just add another mm-hmm. really, really nice house, million dollar house, and and you get all the amenities that you would expect yeah. at that price, if not more. Um, panoramic views, and what's cool is that you get to see Sedona from another perspective, from yeah. another angle, because you're on the other side of the valley, and then if you're backing up to Mingus Mountain, you have all the valley below you, mm-hmm. and then you can see Sedona in front of you, yeah. and with the sunsets hitting on that every single day at the end of the day, it just makes the color so so beautiful. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you definitely get a lot more space also around there. Um, Sedona has been developing for quite some time and lots tend to be a little bit smaller, right? Even though we have more vegetation, so we also have a lot of privacy. The lands, the lots tend to be smaller, whereas in Cornville and Cottonwood, we have a lot of horse properties, ranch properties, where you have big acreage yeah. um, for that price. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so... Um, All right. And so we covered Sedona, we covered Village of Oak Creek, we covered Cottonwood. What's um, what's Cornville like right now? What uh, what's happening in Cornville? What can we find over there if we're looking to buy a home? What's kind of the price range that we get? Cornville's going to be pretty comparable to Cottonwood. There's mm. a little bit higher just because they're, you're closer to Sedona and you do have all the waterways and creeks and things that run through that area and you have wineries. So it's a bit more, um, you know, posh, I would say. For mm. the, the area, people are looking at these nicer homes out there. Now, I have sold homes, you know, in the $500,000 range. Uh, one of my clients uh, up on the hill with a fantastic view, mm. um, and a really cool home. So, and a great community. I see a lot of community there. So I think people are really moving there to live there and enjoy the land around, uh, which is fantastic. And it's a great spot to, to, to be. Yeah. And the land here is very pure, right? And I, is it, is it something in the conversations that your clients come to you with questions about like, 
what's the water quality where, where does your water come from you know on your property what's the air quality like what's the weather like over here is that yeah. something you hear a lot and you get to talk about i think people are pretty aware of what they're getting when they come out here because they expect okay so i'm coming to arizona and they think it's this desert land with nothing yeah but the reality is it's kind of an oasis like we do have water in sedona um you know Phoenix is maybe struggling a bit with that, but in Sedona, we do have water here. We have the mountains, we have clean air, we have beautiful uh, skies and stargazing. Uh, so there's a lot of things here that uh, people really come from the mm. cities to enjoy and yeah. to get out of the chaos of the city and be in a place that's really more peaceful and a place that they call home. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a lot more slower pace and a lot of more outdoor activities and I think yeah. the locals really enjoy that and, and mm -hmm. that transpires even when tourists come over here they don't come to party they, they come to enjoy the outdoors they come yeah. to go on the hikes um, they come to enjoy the beautiful landscape and we, we do have a lot of water we have the Oak Creek we have the Verde River mm -hmm. and we have one of the biggest aquifers in the country underneath the Verde Valley so um, I know it's usually a question that we get a lot uh, concerns because water is becoming a concern around the world, uh, but we feel pretty safe here. We feel pretty protected uh, with, with everything that we have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, Allegra, um, it was nice having you on the podcast. Thank you. Um, thank you so much uh, for all your knowledge and bringing so many happy clients and families here moving to Sedona and the Verde Valley. It's really wonderful to see this area grow and we really want to see it continued to grow in a healthy way and a, in a very balanced way, I feel. And, and people come out here to look for that and, and they find it. So it's really beautiful. Yeah. We yeah. look forward to having more of them. And, yeah. um, you know, I've had so many great clients that I have amazing connections with, and I think it's because they come here looking mm. for that. Mm. Um, and it's a place that they really do come and plug in and get part of the community and find, their people here yeah. and i think that's a yeah. key um factor for people moving here is that they're looking for something and they do find it here yeah the community the authenticity of the people the the, the beauty of the natural landscape and and overall the how much national forest and protected land we have and th that's really beautiful because whenever you're driving in any direction you're going to be surrounded by these landscapes by these protected areas and it feels really open and inviting and uh and just just straight out gorgeous yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right well thank you allegra thank you. and i hope to speak with you soon on all the right. podcast again thank you okay <laughs>